finish. Yeti's not finish. Drake's not finish. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Yay feuds. For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable public spats involving the artist born as Kanye West and ranking them based on the scale of the fight, the popularity of the person with whom he fought, and just how strange the feud got. Number 10. Jay-Z Hova and Yeezy go way back. Kanye first made a name for himself producing for Jay-Z's Rockefeller Records. When Mr. West struck out on his own, they remained close, even collaborating for 2011's Watch the Throne. In 2014, however, Jay-Z and Beyoncé were curiously absent from Kanye's wedding. And in 2016, Kanye launched into a rant on stage about how Jay-Z hadn't called him after Kim was robbed in Paris, and their kids had still never played together. Jay-Z fired back by calling out Kanye's antics on the 444 track, Kill Jay-Z, and publicly stated that Yeezy had overstepped by bringing his family into things. Only in 2017 did they reportedly return to being on speaking terms, with Ye reportedly asking Hova to be his running mate during his failed 2020 US presidential election campaign. Number 9. Nike Most beefs in the music industry are between individuals, but Kanye is the sort of man who's willing to go up against an entire company even one as massive as Nike. Adidas is my family. On December 31st, 2015, Yeezy decided to usher in the new year by airing his grievances against the shoe and athletic apparel company with the song Facts. Before making the move to Adidas, Kanye was collaborating with the House of Swoosh. As he explained to Charlemagne the God in 2018, he left because they allegedly refused to pay him royalties on his shoes. I need some type of royalty. They, Nike told me, uh, we can't give you a royalty because you're not a professional athlete. I told him, I go to the guard and play one on no one. That's right. <laughs> I'm a performance <laughs> athlete. Right. He also went after the company on Twitter with since deleted tweets. Number 8. Wiz Khalifa There was already cause for tension between these two rappers after Wiz married Kanye's ex Amber Rose. In all fairness though, it was Wiz who started this beef. When Yeezy changed the name of his then forthcoming album from Swish to Waves, Wiz suggested that the name had been appropriated from rapper Max B's term Wavy. It was his unrelated tweet that said, hit this KK and become yourself, however, that awakened the beast. Khalifa was referring to his trademark marijuana Khalifa Kush, but Kanye interpreted KK as Kim Kardashian, savaging Khalifa's style, music, and relationship with Amber Rose. He need to smoke some weed. <laughs> More on that further down the list. Number 7. Louis Vuitton In 2013, the same year he was trading blows with online retailer Zappos, Kanye also went after one of the biggest names in high-end fashion, Louis Vuitton. Apparently, he was upset when the company refused to meet with him in Paris, as he'd hoped. While doing the rounds promoting Yeezus, he told Washington 95.5 WPGC that he wanted his fans to boycott the brand as a show of his power and influence. He later backtracked, claiming he never called for a boycott before doubling down by calling Louis Vuitton irrelevant and old. We suspect that his opinion has changed since, as in 2018, his longtime creative collaborator, Virgil Abloh, took over as their men's creative director. Number 6. Dead Mouse. Kanye's Twitter rants tend to go for the jugular. When he squared off against iconic DJ Dead Mouse, however, it was actually pretty funny, which is why this particular feud earns this place on our list. After Kanye posted a photo of his desktop screen, some eagle-eyed followers noticed that he had tabs open for torrenting site The Pirate Bay and Serum, music software from a company co-founded by Dead Mouse. Ironically, Kanye had reportedly considered suing the Pirate Bay after his album The Life of Pablo set records for illegal downloads. When Dead Mouse called him out, rather than address the issue head on, Yeezy cranked up his troll dial to 11, ridiculing the DJ's mouse head. It was immature, but entertaining. Number 5. Jimmy Kimmel Late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel is many things, but mean spirited isn't really one of them. Yeah, he makes jokes and pokes fun at his fellow celebrities, but it's mostly in good fun. And when he does call someone out, chances are that they deserved it. After Kanye gave a less than humble interview on BBC with Zane Lowe in 2013, Jimmy Kimmel Live staged a relatively harmless parody. But the Leonard John fans six years ago to Fendi and they said no! Kanye's response? An all caps blast that got insanely aggressive and weird. He then apparently called Kimmel and demanded a public apology. As you can imagine, this only provided more material for Kimmel. 
Ye continued to be the butt of Kimmel's jokes even in 2022, with the TV host ridiculing both the name change and the lyrical mention of Pete Davidson, whom Kim Kardashian's dating in a new song. Can you imagine you're minding your own business, you're at home, suddenly Kanye attacks you? I mean, he has done that to me, but can you imagine? Number four, Amber Rose. Whether she's taking the high road or knocking him down a peg with a single well-aimed tweet, few people best Kanye on Twitter like Amber Rose. For the record, she's never really been the antagonist, but when Kanye feels the need to drag her name in the mud, she's not afraid to put him in his place. I'd take 30 showers before I got with Kim, you know? <laughs> <laughs> when he claimed that he needed to take 30 showers after being with her, Rose took a quick comparative shot at Kim and Ray J. Kanye dissed her again during his beef with Wiz Khalifa. So she shot back that he must miss her playing with him in a very specific spot. His insistence to the contrary didn't really help matters. So yeah, don't mess with Amber Rose. Number three, Drake. Back in 2009, these two had nothing but praise for one another. But in 2011, Drake announced his ambition to surpass Kanye. Though this may have temporarily divided them, they've usually been mutually supportive. In 2016, Drake dropped some lines about having a bigger pool than Yee, but again, it all seemed pretty harmless. That is, until Kanye produced the Drake diss track by Pusha T, Infrared. They may not have been Kanye's words, but his involvement was enough for things to blow up. For a few subsequent years, it seemed like Kanye had sent countless tweets asking for peace one moment, escalating the next, even dragging Travis Scott into the mix at some point. Meanwhile, Drake kept his responses minimal, with a few lyrical jabs and an interview with LeBron. Now, when you mention defenseless people who are sick in a hospital that passed away, that really sent me to a place where, you know, I just believed then and believe now that there's just a price that you have to pay for that. But then in 2021, they didn't only end their feud, but they also joined forces for the free Larry Hoover benefit show. Number two, Kim Kardashian. Ye and The Socialite were friends long before they started dating in 2012. Though they got married two years later, they ultimately separated in 2021 after having four kids. Considering their fame, wealth, and very public personas, their marital issues were not unknown, but they appeared to stand by each other even through his online rants and hospitalization and her later pregnancy issues. The pandemic brought Ye's increasingly bizarre behavior to light, however, including serious allegations against his mother-in-law, Kris Jenner, and Kim herself. Kardashian subsequently addressed West's bipolar disorder before 2021's news of a divorce filing. Despite his calls for reconciliation and her public support of his artistry though, 2022 saw them both dating other people. The beginning of the year also saw Ye put under investigation for misdemeanor battery, released a new track name dropping Pete Davidson, and expressed disapproval over his ex's allowance of their daughter's use of TikTok. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Peppa Pig, a now deleted tweet from the animated Piglet's account, threw shade at Donda's album rating. The music industry in general. Ye ranted about record company contracts and artists' rights and called out his label Universal. Tony Shea, the then CEO of Zappos. Ye doesn't take too kindly to unsolicited business advice, especially from a quote, shitty shoe company. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Taylor Swift. Feuds come and go. But if there's one Kanye beef that will go down in the pop culture history books, it's Kanye West versus Taylor Swift. It began way back in 2009, when Kanye stormed the stage of the VMAs, interrupting Taylor Swift's acceptance speech to talk about Beyonce's video for single ladies. I, I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. He later apologized on Twitter, but there was understandably bad blood. I first met Kanye West six years ago at this show, actually. However, they seemingly buried the hatchet for real at the 2015 VMAs. Sadly, it didn't last long. With the release of Famous, and one obnoxious line in particular, the feud blew up to involve Ye's then-wife Kim Kardashian and Taylor's Look What You Made Me Do. 
In a 2019 Rolling Stone interview, Swift seemingly insinuated that she wasn't the only person who was gravely affected by things West has done, bringing up Drake and his family. Considering the continued fallout, including the 2020 leak of the unedited version of that phone call, it's hard to imagine these two ever reconciling. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.